Hi, I'm Andy Martin with Wild Rivers Fishing. I'm a full-time guide in Southern Oregon, Northern California, and Alaska. And today I'm going to talk about making baits for steelhead fishing. We're going to cure some steelhead eggs. These are fresh eggs that were caught yesterday. And we're going to cure them with Potsky's Boraxo Fire. I'm going to show you two cures today. I'm going to show you the sweet cure and then the regular cure with Boraxo Fire. The first cure I'm going to show you is using Potsky's Natural Borax of Fire and just using it just as it is to make really good eggs for steelhead. So the first thing you do, you want to make sure that you bleed your fish well and you're going to have real clean looking eggs. You don't want any blood in them, but if you bleed the fish properly, you won't. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to butterfly these eggs. So I cut the eggs right down the middle here. You want to make sure you cut straight up and down. You don't want to cut. You don't want to cut side to side because that'll give you a bunch of loose eggs. So I'm butterflying that into two pieces there. Then you have the folds on the eggs, and that's where you're going to cut the side by side. And you don't want to cut these too small. You can always go smaller, but you can't go bigger. So I'm going to cut them into just manageable pieces to let the cure go in easier. So about eight pieces from that total skein after it's been butterflied and then each one into four pieces. So that right there is ready to cure. So they're small chunks. When we go to bait size chunks, you're gonna get about 10 baits per chunk here. So this is the natural Potsky Boraxo Fire. This is a mixture of borax, salt, and krill. And what I'm gonna do is just shake a little bit right on top of there. Pretty generous amount, but cover the eggs up. I'm going to roll them around here. And just a little bit more. That's basically, that's, that's ready to cure. That's all you have to do, real fast and easy. So when I'm curing them, I'm going to put them into a Ziploc bag. Shake it up a little bit. Now if I do this in the evening after I'm fishing, the evening after they're caught, the next morning these baits are going to be ready to fish. So that's a really fat, really good fast cure, uh, makes really good natural looking eggs, uh, and they, uh, they hold up well. In the morning, they're ready to fish, you can cure them for a couple more days, and ideally you want to let them air dry for a few hours before you put them on the hook, that way they'll hold up better and they won't turn white. But this is a good cure for keeping the natural color of the eggs. Okay, the next cure I'm going to show you is what I call the steelhead candy, and it's a sweeter cure. It's a mixture of Potsky's Boraxo Fire and sugar, and then I'll add some other scents to it. Sometimes we use Potsky Nectar, or we'll use some bait oils. Just like the regular Boraxo Fire, we're going to butterfly the eggs first. So I'm cutting right down the middle here. Splitting the skein in half. And then cutting that into more manageable pieces so it's easier to cure. So this skein I cut a little bit smaller. We we'll have about 12 to 15 pieces of a bait to mix up. Then in a Ziploc bag, I'm going to do three parts of the Boraxo Fire and one part sugar. The sugar is going to make these eggs juice more. It's going to create a lot more liquid in here. It's also going to, the color is going to be slightly darker. So the bright orange is going to be a darker, deeper orange. They still are going to fish really good. So that's three parts of the Boraxo Fire. One part sugar. So mix that up really well. And then the baits that are already cut up, I'm going to sprinkle that right on top of it. work 
them around. You have to be gentle with the eggs. And then those, those are covered well. Now the still head candy here is similar to the one part sugar, one part borax, one part salt, or some people use three parts borax, two parts sugar, one part salt. You can do any kind of a combination of that, but that's basically what you're getting here. You're getting a sweeter egg. So the, the cure's all mixed with it. Now I'm gonna take some anise oil. Anise oil is really sweet. Uh, makes the eggs even sweeter. I'm gonna mix that right into the eggs. Now by adding this while you're curing them, each egg is going to soak up a little bit of that scent. So when the steelhead bites it, the egg's going to burst and it's going to give it an even sweeter flavor. This is my go-to cure, the, uh, the, the, the steelhead candy, which is again the Potsky Boroxifier and the sugar and some anise oil. Uh, the sweeter eggs um, tend to work really well. Now unlike the straight Boroxifier, you need to cure this for about three days. They're going to juice out and then they're going to soak up all the liquid. So usually I wait three days before I fish these eggs. I also dry them out. On the steelhead candy, just like the other cure, I'm going to put these back in a Ziploc bag. And I'm going to let them cure for three days. So the first eggs we cured, just the straight borax of fire, these will be able to fish the next day. These are going to take longer. I want to show you something right here. You can already see that these eggs are starting to juice up. So that's the curing process. They're expelling the liquid and then they're going to soak them back up. Now after curing these eggs, this is just a straight borax of fire. It's only been curing for about an hour. This is the egg with the sugar added. Looks fairly similar. And then after three days of curing, Here's the finished product. So, and, and this is the steelhead candy with the sugar and the borax of fire, a little bit darker. But when I fish these, I'm gonna cut them into pieces smaller than a dime. So that's the finished product, ready to go. Uh, really durable bait, uh, steelhead love it, nice color, natural look. Uh, really sweet, so when the steelhead grabs onto it, it's going to hold on and you're going to usually get it hooked. Now after curing the eggs for either overnight with just the Potsky Borax of Fire or for three days with the Borax of Fire mixed with the sugar, I'll let them air dry for a few hours. That way they stay on the hook better, they last in the refrigerator longer, and they're ready to fish when I get on the river. We have our eggs that are ready to fish. They're cut into pieces about the size of a dime, about the size of a fingernail. It's a good size for steelhead under most conditions. My basic side dipping setup is a Wright and McGill rod, nine foot, really soft tip on it so I can see that bite. I'm using about a three and a half foot leader tied with 10 pound fluorocarbon. Small hook, that's a size four laser sharp octopus hook. I have a sliding weight setup, a barrel swivel, a bead, sliding swivel, and that's a Mad River Drifter called a spoosh ball. And uh, that gives a real natural presentation when we fish that. To bait these hooks up, I just have a piece of yarn on here that I pull open to expose the egg loop. I put the bait in the loop. I don't, I don't run the hook through the bait. I just hook it on there just like that. And then I like to use a puff ball, add a little bit more color and some flotation. And there's some steelhead candy ready to fish. I've had great success steelhead fishing using pots and borax of fire as my base gear. And I hope that these tips help you catch more steelhead as well. Good start to the morning. Good start to the morning. Nice uh, eight, ten pound maybe. Oh, he 
moved right there. Yeah. That's what I was wondering if he's You're seeing me and not liking it. Yeah. What a pretty fish. Wait till you see the color on it. Got a nice red streak down oh, the yeah. back, side and everything. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice fish. Oh, oh lovely just fish, lovely fish. Picture, and then we let him go. Lovely fish. Oh, is he just doing wonderful? Alright, there we go.